Welcome to another Drive Automator video. In this one, we're gonna take a look at how we can use advanced data mapping in Drive Automator when creating automations in a way that will allow you to sell multiple products that give access to different Drive Apprentice courses for the users that purchase them using a single automation. So for example, if you have set up some products in a payment processor of your choice, such as Stripe, Digistore24, and so on, and you want each product to give a user access to different Drive Apprentice products or courses, you can do that using a single automation without having to create a new automation for each of the products and their matching Drive Apprentice products. So again, let's say someone purchases product A, they get access to course one. If they purchase product B, they get access to course two. And if they purchase product C, they get access to course three. So this means that we have three different products in our payment processor and each of them will give access to a different Drive Apprentice product. As I said, this can be done in a single automation using advanced data mapping and we can actually do this in two different ways and in this video I'm going to show you both of them. I'm going to start by accessing Drive Automator from my WordPress admin dashboard and create a new automation. The first way in which this can be done is by connecting each of the payment processor products to our Tribe Apprentice product. And we can do that using the product identifier of each Tribe Apprentice product. Now, as an example for this tutorial, I will use Digistore24. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first method. As I said, this one will only have one start trigger and two action steps. And the start trigger I will choose is the incoming webhook one. Now this way we can create the communication between my automation and Digistore24 or whichever payment processor you are using. Now please make sure you take a look at our tutorial in which we're showing you how to set up the incoming webhook tire trigger when using Digistore24 as the process is a bit more lengthy and I'm just going to quickly go through it in this tutorial. What we need to do is basically set up this incoming webhook into our Digistore24 account and then add the incoming data. So add the key value pairs here. And the way I'm doing that is by using the listen mode right here. So the first thing I'm going to have to do is create a new connection in Digistore and add this webhook URL there. So I'm gonna start by copying the webhook URL and access my Digistore24 account. So here I'm going to click on settings and access the integrations and add a new one. I'm going to look for the webhook option and start by naming it and scroll down to get to the webhook URL section where of course I'm going to paste in the webhook that I've just copied from Drive Automator. And right below the webhook you'll see the parameter names that will be sent out through my webhook to my website. So as you can see we do have quite a few parameters that will be mapped out into our automation but you can always remove the unnecessary ones from the automation. For now what I'm going to do is save this and then head back over to Tribe Automator to activate the listen mode and then come back here and send the test connection which will actually send all of these parameters and map them out into my automation. So as I said, I'm going to click on listen here and go back to Digistore24. I'm going to click on test connection and go back to my automation. And as you can see here, all of those parameters have been mapped out right here. What we need to do at this point is let the automation know that if a certain product is purchased via Digistore24, that should give our user access to a specific Drive Apprentice product. And the automation should know that upon receiving data that is specific to the Digistore24 product, it will pair with the Drive Apprentice product and thus provide user access to the correct course. So for that, I will use the product ID. Because as I said, if someone purchases one of my Digistore products that has a specific product ID, they will get access to one of my Drive Apprentice products, let's say digital marketing. But if they purchase another product with another product ID, they get access to an SEO course and so on. And as I said for that, I'm going to look for the product ID field, which is right here. And as you can see, the payment processor, so Digistore24, has generically labeled this as product underscore ID. 
but please keep in mind that this can be different according to each payment processor. So first of all, we will need to set this field to be a dynamic one. And for that, I'm going to click here on the text field, go to dynamic mapping and choose apprentice product ID. The start trigger is all set and we can click on done. However, for this dynamic mapping to make any sense, we will need to match the Digistore 24 product IDs to our Tribe Apprentice products. And for that, we are going to use the Tribe Apprentice product identifiers. We are going to have to go back to Digistore 24, copy each of the product IDs and match them to our Tribe Apprentice products. I'm going to open Tribe Apprentice in a new tab and have it prepared and head over to Digistore 24 again and access my products there. As you can see, each of the Digistore 24 products has a specific product ID and these are the ones that we're going to use to match them with the Tribe Apprentice products. I'm going to start with the first one and copy its product ID and now I'm going to head over to Tribe Apprentice. In the products section of Tribe Apprentice, I'm going to access one of my courses and go to the access requirements section. On the top right section of this page, we will have the product identifier section. Now this can be an automatically generated number or you can manually input one. And here I'm going to paste in the Digistore product ID. So what I've done now is basically paired this specific product from Digistore24 with this Tribe Apprentice product. And now whenever this value is being sent over via my automation, that user will get access to this Tribe Apprentice product. And I'm going to do the same for as many products as I want. All right, so right now I have set up three different Digistore 24 products to give access to three different Tribe Apprentice products. And I'm going to go back to my automation. So right now we have matched our Digistore 24 products to our Tribe Apprentice products we can continue with the automation. One more important step here is that we make sure that the fields are correctly mapped. So for example, if I take a look at the way the fields have been automatically set up, we can see that the email is set as a text field, when in reality this should be dynamically mapped to the user email. As the next action that I want to happen, I will choose the find or create user one from the WordPress category. This way, in case the person who has just purchased the product was already a user on my site, the system will look for them and will grant them access to the product. And in case they have not yet created an account prior to this step, the automation will automatically create a user for them and they will receive an email with the login information. You can use all of these settings and enter the first name and last name of the user and choose which role should be granted to them. As the last section, we will have to choose the grant access to product action from the apprentice category. And here, make sure you select the dynamic apprentice product ID option and then click on done. The automation will be ready and now each time someone purchases one of the products set up in the payment processor, in our case Digistore24, they will be granted access to the Tribe Apprentice product that matches. As you finish setting up the automation, make sure you click on save and finish and, and activate it whenever you're ready. So this was the first method in which you can pair up different products set up in a payment processor to different Tribe Apprentice products in a single automation. As I said in the beginning of this video, you can do this in two different ways. This was one of them. And now let's take a look at the second method in which this can be done. I'm going to save this automation and start a new one from scratch. All right, for this one as well, we're gonna choose the incoming webhook start trigger and you can set up the webhook just like in the case of the first method. Now, the only difference here is that we are not going to use the product ID and use dynamic mapping here, but we are going to add another step in the automation that will do basically the same thing. So after you use the listen mode and map out the fields here, you can click on done to save the start trigger. In this case as well, we will need to tell the automation that if a certain product is purchased via Digistore24, that should give user access to a specific Tribe Apprentice product. We can make this happen using the product name, for example, or any other variable that is specific to the Digistore24 product. I'm going to open this start trigger again. I will scroll down a little bit. And as you can see, the product name is being mapped out in our 
incoming data fields. This is going to be a text field and it has been automatically added when using the listen mode to add these fields. This will be very helpful in the next step. We don't have to do anything for now. What's important to remember is that we will need some information that is specific to each product from Digistore24 and the product name will be just fine for that. So as a second step, we are going to choose the advanced data mapping action. So here is where the product name field will come in handy. As a source, I will use the product name, as I said, and I will look for it and select it from this list. And I will map it out to apprentice product ID. You will then be able to create the key value matches. So this is where we will create the connection between the product from Digistore24 and the Trev Apprentice product. Now, because we have selected the product name here, I will have to add the name of each product in the key field. So I'm going to access Digistore24 again, and I will simply create a new key value pair for each of my products. And these right here are the names of my Digistore24 products. So for each of these ones, I will create a new key value pair in Tribe Automator. So as you enter a key here, you will have to select one of your already created Trevor Apprentice products. And then you can click on add new to do the same for all of your Digistore24 products. Of course, you can do the same for as many products as you'd like, and each of them will give your users access to different courses. Click on done when you've finished setting up the action, and then you can continue exactly like in the case of the first method. So I will click on add new action and choose the find or create user one, set it up and the last action will be the grant access to product one and choose the dynamic apprentice product ID option. Now this is the finished automation and this will again ensure that for each Digistore24 product that is being purchased, access will be granted for a specific tribe apprentice product. Again, don't forget that the automation has to be set to active in order for it to work. These are the two methods in which you can use a single automation to connect multiple products set up in a payment processor to different Tribe Apprentice products. I really hope this video was useful and as always, make sure to check out the rest of the videos and articles from our knowledge base and our YouTube channels. Oh.